Hello, my name is Jazara, which means beloved princess, and I'm from Ethiopia. Please like and subscribe. I was kind of famous in my village since I was a kid because of my unique features. Everyone always praised my light blue eyes and perfectly round face. This annoyed my sister Rihanna, who was five years older than me. But at home, Rihanna was clearly mom's favorite. That's because she wasn't outspoken like me and always did and said exactly what mom wanted. Like once when I was six, mom's cousin from the city came to visit and she was so pretty and glamorous and she instantly started congratulating mom. Oh cousin, you're pregnant again. That's amazing. Mom smiled and thanked her while Rihanna also joined in. Oh yes, we're really hoping for a little baby brother this time. What were they talking about? Mom isn't having a baby. She's just a little fat. It's okay to have a big tummy, <laughs> Mommy. But maybe you shouldn't eat cake every night when everyone is asleep. Mom was so mad at me. She stopped taking me with her anywhere. But once when I was in second grade, Dad got a bonus salary and he decided to take us to an amusement park in the city. Just outside the main gate though, Mom turned to me and Rihanna. Now, listen carefully. Rihanna, you're going to act like you're 10 years old. And Jasada, you are five. Tickets for younger kids are cheaper, and I'm going to get them. Yes, Mom. But that's lying and cheating. Who cares? The park sells hundreds of tickets a day. It won't hurt them if we pay a little less. But just as Mom was about to get away with it, I couldn't hold myself back. I'm eight, and my sister is 13, and my mom made us live for discount. We're sorry. Mom looked ready to explode. When we got home, Mom took away all my favorite books and said I needed to learn to keep my mouth shut like Rihanna. But when I went to bed that night, Dad snuck in to say goodnight and he quietly placed my books under my bed. Thanks, Dad. I like how you always speak the truth. And you could be a really good lawyer one day, Jazara. He kissed my forehead and left. I guess I was his favorite. And Rihanna envied me for that. Once when I was in fifth grade, Dad's boss invited us all to his farmhouse for his son's birthday party. And Rihanna insisted on putting makeup on my face. But I don't even like makeup. All girls like makeup. <laughs> Sit still. You're gonna look so different once I'm done. Mom called for us because it was time to go. And when I looked at my face in the mirror, I saw she'd made me look like a clown. Rihanna, what did you do to my face? <laughs> Aren't you tired of getting all the attention? This way, everyone will laugh at you and call me beautiful. Mom tried to help me clean the makeup off, but she just made it worse. And I had to go like that because we were already late. At the party, I asked Dad to show me the way to the bathroom. And while I rinsed my face, a boy pushed the door open and started laughing at me. <laughs> Are you the clown they hired? Stop laughing! I pushed him out and slammed the door in his face. And when my face was back to normal, I stepped out and the annoying boy was still there. I'm sorry for laughing. You look very nice. Thank you. Now which way is the party? You mean my party? Come, I'll lead the way. He was the farmer's son, Benjamin. He was my age, but really short and had the biggest ears I'd ever seen. He held my hand as he led me to the hall where everyone was gathered. When mom saw us, she had a huge smile on her face. Look at you too. One day when you're grown up, you will make the perfect couple. Ew, mom. Why would you say that? Jazara, do you want to help blow the candles with me? Um, she would love to. After the party, mom pressured dad to send me to the same school as Benjamin, even though we couldn't afford it. Speak to your boss. Tell him that she's a genius and maybe he will speak to the school for us. Dad went with mom's idea, and soon after, I was in the same school as Benjamin. When I got there, I expected him to be nice to me like he was at the party, but he totally ignored me. Everyone at the school was rich and snobby, and I found it was really hard to fit in. So one day during recess, I took a seat with Benjamin and his friends. We met at your party. Did you forget? I was being nice to you because you were a guest at my house. I already have my set of friends at school, and I don't need more. He was so rude to me. And after that, I just stayed in the library. I was so confused about why my parents made me leave all my friends in my old school and be here with these snobs. 
And then one day in the 8th grade, I got home from school to find that my parents had a lot of people at our house. When I asked what was going on, they told me that Rihanna was getting married and this was her engagement party. Wait, she just completed school, why is she getting married? The same thing is going to happen to you when you complete school. What? I don't want that. And you don't have to do this either. We live in the 21st century and you're so intelligent. Now all you're going to do is be a wife? It's our culture and I'm happy with it. The man I'm going to marry is rich and handsome and my life will be good. And besides, why do you think mom and dad sent you to that fancy school? I don't know, they just did. They're already planning for your future with a farmer's son, Jazara. I guess Rihanna was right because later that night when mom came to my room, she asked me how the farmer's son was doing and I got so mad. He's not my friend at school and I will never marry him or any boy you choose for me. <laughs> we'll see about that. Every girl in the village follows the culture. So what makes you different? I have dreams and ambition and I don't need a man to take care of me. Mom knew that she would never win an argument with me so she just left the room. A few months later, I went to the grocery store when I spotted my sister's future fiance sitting in his car with another woman. And it looked like he was about to kiss her. What are you doing? None of your business. Please go away. I'm going to tell my sister about this. He stepped out of the car to scare me, but I stood bravely and faced him. And then he told me to go ahead and tell my sister because he didn't even like her. When I did tell Rihanna, she didn't want to listen to me and said that I was trying to ruin her life. Mom told me to stay out of Rihanna's business too. It was infuriating. On the day of the wedding, I tried to hold myself back, but I just couldn't. As they were exchanging their vows, I stood up and yelled out loud, stop lying. Jacetta, sit down now. That man doesn't even love Rihanna. I saw him kiss that lady right at the back a few weeks ago. That's why she's crying so much. My sister's fiance stepped away from my sister and turned to me. You stupid girl. Now nobody will marry your sister. Well, she's better off single than married to a lying snake like you. He walked out of the church and Rihanna turned to me furiously. You just ruined my life, witch. No, I just saved your life. Are you crazy? But mom and Rihanna stopped talking to me for months. I didn't care. I was just relieved that my sister didn't marry a jerk and I was sure she'd thank me one day. Soon after, I was in the 12th grade and mom told me that the time had come. I thought after Rihanna's situation, they'd forget about the marriage thing, but they didn't. Benjamin and his family came over to our house and his mother was asking my parents if I knew how to cook and clean. Were they looking for a maid? I peeked into the living room and Benjamin seemed uninterested since his eyes were glued to his phone. And then I decided to step in. Sorry to disappoint everyone here, but I applied for a scholarship to study law in the city and they accepted me. So I'm not available for the maid position right now. Bye. I saw Benjamin grin widely, like he was about to laugh. And then I walked away. But moments later, I heard the guests leave and mom and Rihanna came charging into my room. So you think you're smarter than all of us. Actually, Rihanna was the smartest, but then she listened to you, Mom, and now she's doing nothing with her life. Although, it's still not too late, Rihanna. Oh, shut up. You don't care about me or anyone but yourself. I ignored both of them, and then suddenly Rihanna started tearing my school books like a mad person. I immediately pounced on her, and we wrestled on the floor until dad came in and separated us. What's going on here? She started tearing up my books. Mom said that I was lying and dad looked at me like he was disappointed. I hated my mother for being so unfair to me. The next day when I went to school, Benjamin suddenly approached me. I just wanted to say, it was really brave what you did the other day. Not many girls have those kind of guts. Thank you. I was so relieved that Benjamin and his family did not pursue the marriage thing further, but my mom and sister couldn't let it go. Rihanna managed to get a job as a personal assistant at the same university I got a scholarship at, and I was shocked when a few days later I found that my scholarship had been canceled. You had something to do with this. 
didn't you? Oh, yes. I sent the university a letter from you saying that you were politely declining the scholarship as you were going to another university. Why would you do this, Rihanna? I'm your sister. Well, you ruined my life, so I'm ruining yours. I was devastated for days, but when I told Dad what she'd done, she outright denied it. All I could do was work harder at school to get straight A's and apply elsewhere, but it wasn't easy. When I passed 12th grade, Dad took us out to celebrate at a restaurant one evening. Mom and Rihanna were not happy that Dad was doing something nice for me. But while we were there, Rihanna saw her ex-fiance on a date with the same woman I pointed out on her wedding day. And then he suddenly approached us. I came over to thank you, Jacetta. If you didn't stop the wedding that day, I would have been unhappy and made your sister unhappy. Sometimes, it's good to have sisters like you around. Rihanna started crying and ran to the bathroom, and I ran after her. I'm so sorry, Jasara. All this time, I thought you tried to ruin my life. Why would I? I'm your sister. It's okay, Rihanna. I just wish mom could change the way she thinks. And then, mom spoke up from behind me. You have disrespected me ever since you were a child, Jasara. And you keep disrespecting her culture, too. If culture makes a person unhappy, then I'd rather choose happiness, Mom. And you should, too. I pushed past her and went back to join Dad. A few days later, Rihanna came to my room with an envelope. She got my scholarship approved again. And soon, I moved to the city. I was so excited to start university. And I did amazingly well in my first few weeks there, though I hadn't made many friends yet. One day, as I was walking out of a cafe, I bumped straight into a guy and got coffee all over his shirt. I looked up to see that it was Benjamin. Sara? Oh gosh, Benjamin! I'm so sorry. I can be so clumsy. It turned out that he'd moved to the city to study too, and I was actually really glad to see a familiar face. As we were about to part, he suddenly took my hand. Jasara, would it be okay if I asked you out, like, on a date? I think I'd like to get to know you better without anyone forcing us together. I smiled at how he'd grown so much taller and cuter than the first time we met. I think I'd like that too.